It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Ari, I'm so glad you made it. Thank you for having me, Reginald. Oh, you're very welcome. I hope it was a good flight. Well, you know, I have been known to crash a plane or two, so I was happy to get here in one solid piece. So am I, because I've got some wonderful things to show you. Come, come out to the stables with me. Oh, stables. All right, let's do it. Yes. Now, I uh, I called you because I, I want to expand my business. I've... Currently, it's just with horses, but I think that this is something that we can bring to all of humanity and make, make the world a better place. That sounds fine by me. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful thoroughbred horses. This one over here, we call him Munchie because he likes to munch carrots. He's, his favorite thing to do is to eat carrots. He, look, here, grab a carrot, feed it to the horse. Oh, yes, he definitely does seem to be enjoying that carrot. That's why we call him Munchie. Look at everything about this horse. Top of the head to the, to the tip of the tail. It's just a beautiful horse, is it not? Yes, although something seems off. What are you noticing? If I'm not mistaken, is this horse suffering from equine alopecia? Yes, you are correct. Notice the bald spot in the mane. Yes, that's why I said equine alopecia. It's an incredibly fast horse, but when the horse is running, it's not as majestic as it should be because the mane's not flowing behind. So what we've decided to do is use stem cell research to develop a treatment so that the hair will grow back. Now watch, as we come down here, notice the beautiful flowing mane. Quite beautiful. This is Munchie's dad, Grumpy. But he's much happier now with that mane of hair. Look at it. Do you want to touch it? I do. It's so it's it's silky smooth, as if you yeah. put some sort of additive in it. Yes, and that's just a natural thing. It's it just comes through so soft, so supple. So what do you think, all right? What do you think about us moving this to humans? Well, I have to say that I am working with a couple other companies that are doing something quite similar, and it's a very competitive space, as I'm sure you're aware. But I've never seen results quite like this. Now, have you tested this on any human beings? We have. And what were the results? Outstanding results. We actually have him here. We Well, yes, I, I would certainly like to see the results. I need to talk to him about the experience and what it was like. Uh, most importantly, I would say is how fast can one expect results? Well, we've treated Jonathan just three weeks ago, and I'd like to show you. Jonathan, come here. Jonathan. He'll be out in just a minute. When you see his hair, just pull on it. Make sure that it's actually real. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you for coming out here. Meet my friend Ari. Hello, Jonathan. Do we have any sense of what Jonathan looked like before this gorgeous pain that he now sports? Yes, yes. Uh, Jonathan, pull out your cell phone and show him one of those selfies that you kids do so often. My mind. That is impressive. Yeah. Yes, you can see how tragic it was before. No offense, Jonathan. But it was tragic before. But now look at him now. Look at that. Do one of those things where you turn your head back and forth really fast and the hair flows. Look at that. I mean, that's Beyonce hair. That's what we were going for, is Beyonce hair. It's beautiful. How can I help? So we really need you to scrutinize and make sure that our business is going to go well. What issues have you seen so far? Well, you know, the standard side effects. Enlighten me. Well, you know, hair growth is, uh, you know, primarily on the head. That's worked out really well. Go on. But, you know, like hair will, it hair grows in different spots. So we've seen hair growth throughout. I just don't I want to know if there's any issues with it. I mean, not that I can see on the surface of it. You may be putting some more barbers into business, which is not a broad thing in itself. The key is to show those results. So I think a targeted marketing campaign to bald men of the world, showing them the before pictures of Jonathan and the after pictures. I would say, dare I say, we could even send them locks of his hair to experience it themselves in their own homes. That's brilliant. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of hair that can come off of Jonathan. As beautiful as that hair is on top, it goes all the way to his ass. So, the carpet matches the drapes. Do you, are you familiar with what a merkin is? No, no, please enlighten me. So a merkin is a pubic wig. 